Hey, Megan Scully, and this is the Limerick Post Show. We're here in the record room below the commercial, and I'm joined by Marty Ryan, a.k.a. Anna's Anchor. How are you getting on? Not too bad. How are you keeping, Megan? I'm very well, thank you. Now, first things first, Anna's Anchor. Tell me about that name. Uh, (laughs) um, So, I guess it's a little bit of a weird one, because it's obviously a band name, and a lot of the songs sound like a full band, but I suppose it originally did start as a solo project where it was just myself. And the actual name itself came from, I'm from Anacotti originally. We were just talking about off camera. So, and my favorite song at the time was Anchor by a band called Oscar. So I just chopped off the Cotti, slapped them together. And luckily it wasn't taken, like there wasn't another Anna's Anchor out there. And the URL was free, which is actually important. Like it's really hard to come (laughs) up with a band name that isn't taken. Like you could honestly think of the most obscure thing in the world and there's already 10 other bands with the same name. So that was kind of how it came together anyway, name wise at least. It's nice to go back to your, I suppose, your roots and where you were from. You're not from, uh, we're not in Anacotti anymore, so tell me where you are now. Uh, yeah, we've been living out in Balnacurra now for the last few years, a little bit closer to the city, which is nice, yeah. yeah I, don't so. th- I don't think Bal and Anchor would work with it. Bal and Anchor, <laughs> oh God, yeah, it sounds like you're entering swear words territory there. <laughs> so tell us now about the, the music, because um, I, I saw you live in Dolan's and you were uh, supporting Hudson Taylor only recently. So for those who haven't heard Anna's Anchor yet, what can they expect? Uh, well, I suppose it depends on which show they go to, because that was solo, let's say. Mm-hmm. So, like, most of the time it is solo, and I do tour predominantly solo, even though the show that we have coming up this week in the commercial, that's a full band mm-hmm. affair. And we do play full band every once in a while, kind of whenever whenever the occasion is appropriate, I guess. Um, so if it's on my own, it's usually... I, I do tell a lot of stories, I guess. It's, like, almost half storytelling, half playing songs, because... I suppose I find like with just one person acoustic guitar is like very limited as to what you could do so when I first started out I was like trying to think how can I do a little bit different so I do talk an awful lot when it's a solo thing so I guess that that is like at least I'm attempting to try and make it like a little more of an intimate affair by doing that and then when it's full band like those are just that's like way totally different it's like completely different world it's like you know big loud songs I guess and um, it's usually like any time we've toured full band, it's been around like the release of an album or something mm. where we've kind of been able to justify touring full band. Yeah. And for me personally, that's always been like the most rewarding thing. And it's been like such a special occasion, especially when you have people that have been coming to see, mm. let's say myself play solo for like, it's going on like five years now. And then I suppose we all get to experience the songs, how they're meant to sound then on this like one kind of rare occasion. So it feels really special for me. So. Um, yeah, those are the kind of two worlds when it comes to the live setting, I guess. Unreal. Um, now, I know Dermot Kennedy always tells stories before all of his songs, so he's had okay. great success. But I was at the Hudson Taylor gig, and I remember your last song, you had told a very poignant story about the, the song that you wrote for a friend. Can you tell me about that? Uh, yeah, so that was about my friend Kev, who unfortunately passed away two and a half mm-hmm. years ago. Um, actually Dr. Kevin Hayes because after he passed away some of his cohort actually um, finished out his PhD pro wow. or his PhD project from which is amazing and um, um, we even had Michael D. Higgins actually unveil a plaque in his name mm-hmm. out in UL but um, Kev actually passed away from sudden adult death syndrome two and a half years ago um, that particular song I guess I'll try and summarise it as quickly mm-hmm. as possible uh, it's called For the Parish and mm-hmm. Kev was a bit of a gas man and everything was for the parish when we were in first year first star now playing hurling kev was like a fairly stocky lad like he was a sizable fella he'd play play at the time mm-hmm. and he played full back and i just remember like a big ball came in over the top and he hit a young fella absolute belt of a shoulder while he was screaming for the parish and from then on when you're in the school just everything was for the parish it was like his catchphrase and um after he passed away like naturally it was you know heartbroken mm-hmm. and i suppose the true extent of I suppose the grief didn't necessarily occur to me until mm. a tiny while later and I was on tour in America at the time which was kind of it was very strange because on one side it definitely was a dream come true to be touring in America and like I'm ridiculously fortunate and privileged to have been able to do that um, but at the same time I was like really not in the right yeah. frame of mind and it was hard being so far away from home and for the majority of that tour actually it was on my own as well just like 
driving for like 13 hours every day just completely on my own so that probably added to the whole thing yeah. um but anyway the very end of the tour i was playing a festival in gainesville in florida and i just like was trying to come up with something to cheer myself up so i said i'd get a tattoo in kev's honor so like for the power seemed to be the most appropriate uh <laughs> appropriate tattoo to get so i said I'd get a tattoo in his honor for the parish but that's a lot of letters so i just abbreviated it ftp and put it on my ankle and then i was telling this story to drummer from the only other irish band playing that mm -hmm. festival and he's from belfast butler is his name band called apartments and um then butler was like marty i'm just i'm sorry to like interrupt your beautiful story and everything and i'm so sorry for your friend but FTP where I'm from is not for the parish it's fuck the Pope <laughs> so <laughs> I guess I probably should have asked you like can I swear on this but right. you can bleep it out yeah. anyway people know so yeah I have that tattooed on my ankle now and I suppose I can never wear shorts around Belfast ever again anyway <laughs> oh my god I actually now that you say that I do remember you telling the story <laughs> I know for the parish obviously then was is like it's as I said like it sounds like it's so such a cool phrase well it's like you know we always say it as well because I'm from a small parish yeah, so it's always and, like and exactly Kev was from out, out the country I guess but like Culture coming into school kind of fairly close to the city so he was like really embracing his inner culture so like yeah, absolutely everything was for the parish yeah I absolutely love that story and I, think, I remember you saying tell the night I thought it was so so good now do tell us of course we did say you are playing here on Friday night and it's a full band so tell us about that Saturday night if I'm correct oh, Sa Saturday, Saturday December yeah. the 7th uh, yes yeah, so we're playing full band in here in the record room in the commercial um, a fantastic venue and we are playing full band um one of only two occasions this year that we played full band and it's an aid of limerick suicide watch so for the last three actually the last four years we've done a show every christmas for limerick suicide watch and we tried our best to do as much fundraising for them as possible down through the years mm -hmm. so um that's what's happening this christmas and we also have hey rusty who's supporting playing full band for the first time as well it's a guy called john ahern and he's just like an incredible songwriter and it's his first time playing full band so that's going to be fantastic we also have kaylee o'brien opening up as well so it's like all limerick lineup um everything all the money made on the night is going to a limerick charity and just around christmas time so i think it'll be a, a really fun one and there's there's not too many tickets left but there is still tickets left and you can get them on anasanchor.com if you so please and again all of that money is going all to limerick suicide watch so Absolutely incredible. Um, now you are going to perform for us in a little while solo, but um, yeah. before we let you go, where can we find you on social media? Uh, literally everywhere. Like I said, luckily Anna's anchor isn't taken already. <laughs> so if you just punch that in anywhere yeah. and do have a website, it's www.annasanchor.com and that's where you kind of, that's where you can get all the information. It's very handy having a website when you're emailing people because you can just send one link. And <laughs> it's it's a, all no, there. Yeah, there you go. Um, tell us, what are you going to perform for us and why? Um have to think about that or not uh i'll probably play a song called people's park oh. uh which is a, a new one actually and i've been doing a bit of a mad project over the last well it's about last 17 weeks now where i've been doing a podcast where i'm interviewing a different person from a different county every week and i'm also writing and recording a new song every week wow. so yeah it's been actually very stressful it's <laughs> <laughs> like Every, everything in life has been difficult since <laughs> I started this but it's been great crack so this is one of those songs and uh, yeah I guess it's like kind of appropriate yeah um, Marty aka Anna Zanker thank you so much for trying to live post show thank you so much for having me really really appreciate it thanks Megan <laughs> Consequence 
we don't owe anything Can only do our best Given the consequence We don't owe anything We don't owe anything Can only do our best Given the consequence We don't owe anything Hey! <laughs> Thanks a million.